Before starting the video, I want to let you guys know that I hid the image of a Roblox hat in this video. The first one to find this image and type it in the comments which hat it is will win Robux. Read the description for more information. Hey guys, welcome to another Lumion Legacy video. So today, we're gonna rate Lumions, literally. I will be reviewing each Lumion based on four different aspects, which are appearance, name, effectivity, and vulnerability. Two of these aspects are my own personal opinion, the appearance and the name. Warning, you guys may not like my opinion, which is why I don't mean to offend anyone with my reviews. The rating that the Lumion will receive based off effectivity and vulnerability won't be my opinion, but facts. For example, we all know that fire is weak to water. That isn't an opinion, it's a fact. Also, in this video we have a special host who will review two Lumions, Eaglet and Vambat. The reason why I'm not reviewing Eaglet is because we all know that I will give Eaglet a 10 out of 10, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm just being biased with Eaglet because this is my favorite Lumion. Alright guys, I hope you don't get mad at me for these reviews, but hey, that's the way the news goes. Let's start reading the Lumions. I will rate them based on the order that they were announced. The first Lumion that was announced was Embit. So now, let's rate Embit. Okay guys, so this Lumion is called Embit. This is the first ever fire type Lumion we were introduced to in the game. The word Embit originates from the combination of the words Ember and Rabbit. This name is a bit creative, but at the same time I feel like it's a bit plain. I think that this name could have been better, but I am no one to judge. For the creativity of the name, I give Embit a 6 out of 10. Now, let's review the appearance of Embit. Embit looks exactly like a rabbit, and I believe that something else could have been added to it. I really like the color choice for it though, and I also like Embit's face. I believe that the face has a nice touch to Embit, and that it's a really good way to show that Embit is a fierce lumen. Due to this, I've decided to rate Embit's appearance a 5 out of 10. Now, let's rate the effectivity of Embit. As to the effectivity of Embit, it's effective against plant, ice, bug and metal type Lumions. I believe that Embit is a solid choice for a Lumion if you want to pick one who is effective against many types. Now, as to the vulnerability of Embit, it's weak against water and earth type Lumions. This isn't so bad honestly, considering that it's pretty obvious that Embit is weak against water. Also, I would like to mention that Embit is not effective at all against spirit type which affects its rating. As to the effectivity and vulnerability of Embit, I rate it a 9 out of 10. Overall, I give Embit a score of 7 out of 10. Not so bad Embit. Now, let's move on to the next Lumion. Up next, we have Vambat, the dark type Lumion. For this Lumion, a friend of mine will review it because he's my friend. I present to you guys, Snowy Curie. Hey guys, it is Rage Snowy here, and Armenti was going to do the reviews for these Lumions himself. However, he felt like he was a bit too biased and was going to give them a 10 out of 10, so he asked me to do them for him. So starting off with the name, it is a combination of the words Vampire and Bat, and you can clearly see that's what it is. And once again, it's not the most creative that they could have done, like, it's just combining two words together. But it's, it's not bad, so I would probably give the name, once again, a 6, just because I think it's not bad, but they could have done better. And now moving on to the appearance, I absolutely love this thing. Not not trying to be biased or anything, but I love the wings, I love the gigantic ears, and I, I love the colors in it, it looks perfect. He low-key looks like he's ready ready to go fight or something. So yeah, I'd probably I'd probably give the appearance um uh, maybe an 8 out of 10. Hey y'all, Menti back. As to the effectivity of Vambat, it is effective against mind and spirit type. I don't know about this one, Chief. As to the vulnerability of Vambat, it's vulnerable to light, bug, and brawler type. I will also like to mention that Vambat is immune to mind type, which gives it a good boost. Ultimately, I rate Vambat's effectivity and vulnerability as 4 out of 10. And overall, me and Zoe Kirby give Vambat a rating of 6 out of 10. Now let's talk a bit about Weevolt. Weevolt is the first electric type lumen that was introduced to the game. I was pretty shocked when this lumen came out. Haha, <laughs> get it? Anyways, as to the name of Weevolt, it originates from the combination of the words Weasel and Volt. I really like how the developers made a plain old weasel become into some electric type crazy lumen, which is why I rate the name of Weevolt a good 7 out of 10. As to the appearance of Weevolt, I believe that it looks pretty cool. I like the whiskers and the tail, especially the face. The face has a cool design and it's pretty darn cute if I do say so myself. As to the appearance of Weevolt, I rate it a good 8 out of 10. Now let's talk about the effectivity of Weevolt. 
Being an electric type, Weevil is effective against water and earth type. This isn't the best, then again, it's not that bad. Now, as to the weakness of Weevil, he's only weak against earth type, which is great. To include, I would like to mention that Weevil doesn't affect Earth type at all, which affects its rating. So, I rate Weevil's effectivity and vulnerability a 4 out of 10. Hey guys, this isn't that bad, okay? Shout out to all my Weevil fans. Overall, Weevil receives the score of a 6 out of 10. Now, let's move on to our next Lumion. We will be talking about Snow Cup. Oh boy, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I am not much of a fan of Snow Cup. So be advised, you might not like my review. I'm anti burger and I shouldn't be giving my opinion out like this, but oh well. Snow Cup is the first ice type Lumion that was revealed in the game. The name Snow Cup comes from the words Snow and Cup. This is a pretty simple name, literally both of these words were put together and the W was removed. Then again, the developers had to find a creative way to describe the Lumion in two words, so I gotta give them credit for that. For the creativity of the name, I give it a 5 out of 10. Now let's talk about the appearance of Snow Cup. This looks like a frozen Oshawa to be honest. I believe that the Lumen itself looks decent but the color choice wasn't the best. I rate the appearance of Snow Cup a 2 out of 10. Moving on, let's talk about the effectivity and vulnerability of Snow Cup. Armenti, how good can an ice type Lumen be? You may ask. The answer is surprisingly good but at the same time it's bad. Let me explain. So as to the effectivity of Snow Cup, it's effective against plant, air, earth and ancient type. Not so bad Snow Cup, but hold on guys, Snow Cup is weak against Fire, Brawler and Earth type, bad Snow Cup. This doesn't matter anyways. As to Snow Cup's effectivity and vulnerability, I rate it a good 8 out of 10. This gives us the overall score of 5 out of 10 for Snow Cup. Can someone give Snow Cup the sticker of at least you tried? Whoop whoop, Warm Connell 7 here guys and today we're going to be reviewing Feevine, the plant type Lumion. Just kidding. I tried to reach out to Warm Chrono to review Feevine, but he didn't respond my Discord. I know a lot of fans of mine like Feevine a lot, and I do too. So I hope you guys like my review on it. So, the name Feevine comes from the combination of the words ferocious and wine, which makes it Feevine. Wait, my bad, it comes from the words feline and vine. I really like cats. I am a cat person, just kidding, I'm a dog person. Anyways, I rate Feevine's name a 6 out of 10. Go cats! Now let's talk about the appearance of Feevine. I believe that the developers did an amazing job with Feevine and I really like the color scheme that Feevine has. It's all green but has good shades of green which makes it look good. I also like a lot the small tooth that Feevine has coming out of its mouth. It's a pretty nice touch. Thanks to all of these aspects I've decided to rate Feevine's appearance a 7 out of 10. Now let's get into the effectivity and vulnerability of Feevine. As a plant type, Feevine is in a pretty rough spot to be a good Lumion. Feevine is only effective against water and earth type, which isn't that much, but it's good, you know? Now the hard part comes. Feevine is weak against fire, ice, air, bog, and toxic type. Oof! I decide to rate Feevine's effectivity and vulnerability a 1 out of 10. Anyways, this doesn't really matter because Feevine's overall score is a 5 out of 10. Actually, now that I think of it, it does matter. What time is it? It's time to rate Eaglet because Eaglet is my favorite Lumion and I will obviously rate it a 10 out of 10. I've decided to have my friend Snowy Kirby to come back for a second round and I'll let him rate the appearance and the name of Eaglet. Take it away Snowy. We're gonna review the Eaglet, his personal favorite Lumion. Now starting off with the name, it's it's supposed to be a combination of the word eagle and light, which I think is it's not a bad combination. I mean, it looks somewhat like an eagle and it, it is pretty light. However, I don't think this is the most creative name they could think of. Eaglet, I mean, it's kind of cool, but I mean, I don't know. Probably could have been better, if I'm being honest. But I would probably give the name a 6 out of 10. And now moving on to the appearance. I think uh, it's it's okay. It doesn't it doesn't have too many features about it that I would, I would like to see from it, you know? It's got a beak, and that's about it. It looks sort of like a mutated cat. Boy! But either way, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it lives up to the name. It has the eagle beak, and it is light. So I'd probably give the appearance a 5. Hey guys, I'm Menti back. Alright, now I will rate the effectivity and vulnerability of Eaglet. Eaglet is effective against Dark, Brawler, and Ancient type. This is very good, Eaglet. You're doing an amazing job, buddy. I am very proud of you. As to the weaknesses of Eaglet, it's weak against Toxic and Metal type. 
As an extra fact, Eaglet is vulnerable against Asian type. After taking in consideration all of these facts, I rate Eaglet's effectivity and vulnerability an 8 out of 10. Overall, Eaglet receives a rating of 6 out of 10. Wait, what? Now, let's talk about the last Lumion that was announced, the water type Lumion, Dripple. The name Dripple comes from the combination of the words Drip and Ripple. Honestly, I believe that this is the most creative name out of the seven. It sounds good and as soon as you hear this name, you think of water. Because of this, I have decided to rate the name of Dripple a 10 out of 10. Now, let's rate the appearance of Dripple. Dripple looks like a small cute little creature that has the mouth of a frog. I really like the stripe that Dripple has in the middle, it gives it a bit of color which is nice. Regardless, I am not a fan of Dripple's face overall, but this doesn't really matter. I have decided to rate the appearance of Dripple a 6 out of 10. Now let's rate the effectivity of Dripple. Being a water type Lumion, Dripple is effective against fire and earth type. This is pretty good since both of these types are very common and I believe that there will be many fire and electric type Lumions. As to the weaknesses, Dripple is weak against plant and electric type. Both of these types are very common as well, which could be bad for Dripple. Due to this, I have decided to rate Dripple's effectivity and vulnerability a 4 out of 10. Overall, I give Dripple a score of 7 out of 10. Well guys, there you have it. These are my ratings for the Lumions. I want to remind you guys that the appearance and creativity ratings are my opinions, so I hope that this does not influence on how you think about the Lumions. If you actually try to make a Lumion by yourself, it is pretty hard, so I am no one to be rude to the developers who spend countless hours making them. If any developer by any chance is watching this and felt offended by any review, I would like to apologize in advance and that this isn't my intention and I hope that you guys can understand that. I just want to give a personal opinion on how I think about the starter Lumions. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching it. Also, did you guys find the hidden picture of the hat that I hit somewhere in this video? If you did, let me know in the comments. Remember that the first person to find it will win Robux. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Armenti and we lit.